It's been a long time. I shouldn't have left you without a dope beat. It's step two, step two, step two, step two, two, two step two, step two. Chicka, chicka, chicka. That's a uh, Timberland and Aaliyah song. Okay. Step two, step two, step two, step two, step two. Chicka, chicka, chicka. Anyway, you are back with Deb Chanel at Deb Chanel's 48th World. Let me tell you right now, it's my opinion, it's my show and my topic I want to talk about. So fall back, get your wine glass or whatever uh, drinks you like to uh, drink while you're listening to someone, narrate a story, or give off their commentary about a particular topic. So <sighs> all that is out in the open. So let's start the conversation. The topic of conversation today is that None other than we all like to cast out on our videos talking about the Real Housewives of Atlanta, Nee Nee Leaks. That's right. They gear it up for season 12 or hell is it 13? I really don't know. Don't really make a difference. Not a hill of a beans, okay? But Nee Nee done shook the table again, y'all. Shook it, shook it, shook it, and shook it and, and tore the table up. Just throw it up in the air and just tore it up. They done gave her somebody else to play with. And no, it's not Greg Lee's. It's not the cancer survivor. Yes, let's give it up for Greg, Greg, Greg. Many blessings for sitting your butt down somewhere, okay? For me, to put you on the storyline again. But we don't want to hear about it because you have been blessed. You have been favored. And you are healed. Okay, Greg Lee, sit down somewhere. Be the old G that I like you. Be dapper. Or have a great conversation for everybody to come by and keep it clean okay but anyway moving on from bread he's not the storyline this season or at least i hope not they don't gave nene another playmate to come into the kindergarten section of the real housewives of atlanta yes hopefully she's gonna give drama because she's the one that even marcella said that she didn't know her. she didn't know her. then went to the same college together then probably stepped together then probably got drunk together Probably dated some of the same fellas, whatever. But Eva says she don't know her. She don't know her. She don't know her. Okay. <laughs> but Yvonne is back and in full effect. She is Nene's partner in crime. I don't know where they be getting these ladies that's younger than Nene. I haven't say Nene. Uh, younger than Nene and need to be a more age around Nene's age and Marlo's age. Okay. Almost like a grandmama type situation. Give me grandma. Give me grandma, okay? Because y'all keep getting these young ladies that's in their 30s or almost 40s sitting up here with Nene when we know she almost in her 60s or kind of close to it. You know what I'm saying? I'm just kidding. She probably in her, what, early 50s maybe? I think she is anyway. But we need more season, season, and elderly age, I guess I'm, I'm, I'm putting upon to because... They need to have some more wisdom to drop to these younger women that's coming on these reality shows. We know it's drama field. We know that's what they're getting paid for. But I mean, if they ain't going to make Marlo, and I think she got some infractions going on with the law or some tax problems or something. Because to me, she done earned her peach. Okay? She up there with NeNe to me. Because really, if we didn't have Marlo come in and guest friend with NeNe, it would it'd be kind of boring. Because... Nene just be shutting everybody down, don't want to talk to them. She don't want to send test messages and this, that, and third. She don't want to date with them. Oh, I'm like, uh-uh, she's too much acting like a drama queen. And I know she give it to us, but Marlo gives it better. And a little class on the side with it, okay? Oh, I'm just like, mm-mm. I can't believe it. Then they getting rid of, I hear. And I can see why. She will become like a liability to them. Uh, Shamari Moore. I'm mean, not Shamari Moore. I'm thinking about Kenya Moore. Shamari DeVoe. They demoted her. Yes. I don't know how you get demoted from the first season. Go ahead. They demoted. Well, no, they got rid of Kim Fields because it was just like nobody liked her. And I'm like, see, that's what I'm saying. See, Kim Fields came out as a Christian woman. Didn't want to do this, that, and third. Didn't want to, uh, you know, take away from her family or more she had. Didn't want to show her family in a, in a negative light. And, you know, they couldn't deal with it. That, that, that was just a good, wholesome person. <laughs> that, like, it could have brought some morali morality back to this show. Okay? Because right now, Kim, like, I ain't finna let y'all disrespect me. And I ain't finna clown on you women. Okay? That's going to be all camera. Because that will be drama-fied. 
Okay, she gonna go back to Kim Fields. Okay, back in the day when she was first trying to get started, like on Living Single, shade you up and down, and then walking away with a cute smile. Okay, but Kim said oh, that was a role, but I, I, no, I can't do that because Chip Fields were um. Uh, reared me and we don't get down like that we be ready to put hands on folks so yeah it's best for me to take this uh one season i did put it in my catalog of things i've done and, and move on <laughs> Can't feel so, uh -uh, i ain't looking back at you ladies but it just is what it is but they'll come knocking on her door when they want to get into one of her films or one of her productions or something like that then they're gonna be trying to talk to her but now nah, they all shut her down and i was sad but well uh what do you call it? Well felt about it. Like, you, this wasn't her arena. This is not something she do. She's a true actress. You know what I'm saying? She need to be on a production series somewhere. Making movies, producing movies, starring in movies. Do something to that degree. But these women right here done got, rat, what do you call it? Racicity, ratchetity down to a, a certain degree. Where it's it's one hundred percent foolproof. So this is their lane. This is what they like to uh, be a part of, and this is what making them money at this time. Okay, can they go into the acting field? No, they so. Mm -mm. No, and somebody take them serious? No, 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 no. So this is their firm foundation. This is their bread and butter, and they're going to use this platform to take other avenues to spin off to other, you know, ratchet. Uh, reality shows or whatnot because this is what they decided to do with the rest of their lives and so this is what's going to be the foundation of their money until bravo gets rid of them or uh, you know they go under or whatever and then i guess they'll pretty much be has beens you know or whatnot uh but i guess candy can go back to writing music um because that dungeon thing you know that's just like chippendales uh sex toys and whatever it just becomes, you know, a household name. And once you bought it all or saw it all, what are you going to give to me new? So she's going to really have to try to reinvent herself in that type of field because it's so saturated. Sex field is just so saturated with, you know, everything from toys to uh, clothing to acts to books. You know, it's all out there. So I'm just waiting to see what else she's going to come up with other than the restaurant business and um the sex toy business and sex fantasy she's giving out other than that what would she really be doing so okay that was candace field like i said her shamari got devoted to a friend thing she could thank candy for that because candy did uh somewhat lightly shade her and her actions of how she was performing negatively on the set when she was in that uh i think it was season I think this is supposed to be season 13, but I I'm, I'm might be going ahead of myself. Oh, we in 12 or 13. I don't know. Okay. But like I said, not really that important. But Shamar was part of last season and she just showed out. You know, she kept saying, you know, she'd been a mother. She she needed to break out. This, that, and the third. Uh, she'd been down with the twins and I'm talking to. And she just needed to be out of mommy mode and back to just, I guess, the single life slash married. I don't know what Shamara getting all this from. But anyway, this is how she's flowing. So she felt like she needed to drink every time she got a chance to be with the ladies or by herself. She needed to feel better. And really, drinking is just a social thing. It's not something like I have to do it. Because, you know, I can go and have lunch or dinner with somebody don't even pop open no wine, you know what I'm saying? But I, the parts I get up with wine is pretty much cigarette cooler. So we could tell how much alcohol is in that. And that don't do nothing for me unless I drink about three or four. Then it's just making me sleepy. Don't make me crazy or anything like that. All right. 